Wouldn't it be cool to have magical powers? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. What would you pick? Well, Julie Orman, she's the star of a new show called Witches of East End. Now, Julia, we know you're beautiful, smart, you won an Emmy, but you also have a secret power? It, I have come out, I am a witch. <laughs> well, Julia, how have you enjoyed playing the witch? It's really fun. Um, it's really fun. There's something kind of cookie about waving your hand in a wood and watching somebody fly, fly away. Um, it's interesting. It's when you're playing a witch, you start to realize how many shortcuts you would like to make in life. Julia, I look forward to tuning in on Lifetime. What makes this show so special for you? What I love about it is that it's really a story about a family. It's a story about a single mother and her two girls. And I think that's what I related to. And that's what I loved when I, um, when I first read the pilot. And, and uh, you know, I was brought up by a single mom and I had a sister. So I think I probably related to it a lot in that way. Um, it's about the challenges of parenthood. It's really about parenting. And they ha she happens to be a witch. So um, it's about protecting your kids. It's about wanting them to be able to um, reach their full strengths, but be able to handle what could possibly go wrong. Well, so what happens is your sister, their aunt, shows up with not so good news. Yeah, she comes to warn them that, because Joanna basically lies to them. The, the girls keep coming back. Um, I'm immortal. I've lived for a very long time, which is perfect casting. Um, and um, she basically has decided in this life, I'm not going to tell them about their magic powers. I'm not going to take them down that, um, down that course because in past, in former lifetimes, every time they exercise their power as a witch, society hones in on them, puts them to death. It goes tragically wrong. They both die. Um, and then they're reborn. And so in this lifetime, she said, no, I'm not. I'm just going to hide that from them. Um, and there's a lot of fun from this very troublesome, um, sexy, free-spirited aunt who comes back and says, uh, uh not getting away with that and causes a lot of trouble. And then rallies them to fight the evil forces and the enemies that are coming to try and get rid of them. Well, Julia, you've done a great job of enticing all of us to want to tune in, which we will on Lifetime Network. But what was it about being raised by a single mom that allowed you to prosper as a young woman today? You know, I think when I look back on it, what being brought up by a single mom, a single, single parent did for me was really help me tap into my inner resources. I was changing electrical stuff at age nine. I was doing my own washing. There was a lot. You chipped in as a family member, I think, in a different way. We did in my household anyway. Maybe there's other... Um, it, it happens differently in other households, but as I've gotten older, I really definitely appreciate my mom now that I'm a mom more. I think I'm a way better mom than I am daughter. Um, but it, it kind of, I believe it made me really resourceful. Um, and to, to, to kind of know that I can handle, I, I can handle stuff because I saw her handle so much and go to work and, um, and bring us up at the same time. Well, Julia, she definitely raised one wonderful woman. Thank you so much for the passion you put into this role on Lifetime, and thanks for joining us. Bye, Con.